It's this display of patriotism that Borderline Dance Group has come to be known for. Since they first started line dancing as volunteers seven years ago. It's very fun. The girls absolutely love it. It's very high energy. But before their performance at the Emerald City Hoedown in downtown Seattle last weekend. And he told me that there was some individuals within the community that felt um, unsafe and bothered, um, triggered, if you will, by our flag shirts. Organizers told them their costumes offended some people. But why? What we were told was had to do with what was going on in Palestine and the LGBTQ community in America. The dancers said, didn't understand. There's no there's no words. Was there anything specific that they pointed out about the shirt that was offensive? No. Just flag themed. I even asked them. Chance that a controversial comment was made by a team member that would no. have started contention. I don't believe so, no. No, we were all pretty much just sitting together in a group just talking amongst ourselves. They told me they don't even have any political affiliations. We didn't hesitate to accept and 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 perform for uh, a community who uh, who really does value inclusivity that that was not also extended to us. In a Facebook comment, the president of Rain Country Dance Association, Zia D. Cambier, says that no members of the borderline dance team were asked to leave. And she's hoping to clear up some misunderstandings. When I reached out for an interview, they declined, but they did send us this statement saying that we are in communication with those directly involved. And they do extend their apologies um, and and we're, we're in communication trying to figure out how we want to move forward with this. The association's president says since last weekend's incident, they have received an extreme amount of online harassment and a violent threat. She says SPD called the threat credible. We reached out to SPD to confirm they are investigating. Violence and harassment is not something that we condone towards any person or any group for any reason. Police have not yet returned our request. As I will tell you for the most part, this community was wonderful. Maddie White, King 5 News.